So hi everyone, I'm Dave. I'm here from Lifecast, a uh, body simulation based in Elstree Movie Studios in London. Uh, we're at the forefront of 3D scanning and 3D printing people and turning them into mannequins. I thought I'd show you a quick example of one down here at the moment. This is a 29 week uh, old infant and what you can see in front of you is a full ALS mannequin. Uh, so this little chap is, uh, takes a nasogastric tube, he's already intubatable. Uh, he's ventilatable, he's IV cannulatable, he's scalp cannulatable and we've got uh, cord access through here, you can see the, the vessels. There's a little sump just down here that will take 5 mils of fluid so when you do cannulate you'll get your flash back through from the cord as well. 950 grams, now the interesting thing is this is the real weight of the child uh, at the point at which we put our hands on them. It took a long time to go through ethical approval and uh, to get the permission to do the sculpting uh, and the manufacturing of this particular ALS mannequin. So the next one I want to talk to you about was this particular mannequin. You can see just enough movement in the mannequin to question whether this is high or low fidelity. What is this all about? Now actually, this is a tongue-tied breastfeeding mannequin. It's designed for antenatal education. Um, but we love it because it creates emotion and we quite often hand it to people and we look at how they hold this particular baby. We have got other babies here on the table and I want to show you a couple of them. So again, this is a full ALS baby from Lifecast. We're able to do our chest compressions on it and with the circling technique, we're able to ventilate it. And when we do ventilate it, you'll see that the rise and fall that we get is where you would expect, oh, excuse me, where you would expect the rise and fall to be. So we're seeing movement down here as we would in the real world. I'll show you it on this chap so you can see it a little bit better and a little bit more detail. So placing the mask on, getting a good seal. Can you see that the movement there is as realistic as it would be within the, in the real child? So a lot of our journey is recreating realism in simulation. We're trying to say, okay, physiologically, we know that the lungs are up here, but what we're actually doing is recreating the movement that you'd see within a real infant. So we're taking simulation in a different direction from the traditional ones who build mannequin lungs where we know lungs are towards actually saying, well, what we see when we bag a child is movement on that sort of uh, diaphragmatic area for want of a better phrase. We can do the same if you look at the little preemie here. I'll turn the, the bag valve mask around the other way and we'll just cup the face in, do a little bit of a head tilt. And again, you can see that the movement that we're getting is the same realistic movement that we would get in the real infant. So what we're able to do here is just to do it just so that we get some movement and obviously not over ventilating the child. Okay so this is the three-year-old from Lifecast, um, the Lifecast toddler. He's a full ALS mannequin but most importantly he's actually floppy and he's of the real weight. So one of the things that we've been trying to do is to say again what's important in simulation of this particular age group is getting the weight of the child. A lot of people will say to us well I don't know how old he is. Well you can use age for page, you can measure him, you can weigh him, any of those will help you with your drug calculations. Or if you're really clever, then you'll look at the age in his pajamas and say actually his pajamas say he's age three to four and then you'll calculate the drug based on that. But what we love about this chap is just the way that he behaves. The floppiness is really important, so I'm gonna just show you one of the things that a lot of clinicians struggle with, which is just the choking associated with a 14 kilo baby. So as you can see, he's actually quite difficult to position appropriately because of the weight side and the fact that he is uh, as floppy as he is in the real world. 